now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Yeah, we've got this strong spring, or should I say strong fall storm that's actually wrapped up here across the center part of the nation tonight. That's what you get in October. You can get these really energetic, very windy storm systems. And tonight, it's still spawning severe weather. As you can see, a pair of tornado and severe thunderstorm watch boxes across parts of Georgia into the Carolinas. The good news for us, we're over the hump in terms of the severe weather, but we are not done with the rain just yet. Matter of fact, let me zoom you in very close. And boy, this is a classic fall cyclone here. You can see the spin of Low pressure near St. Louis tonight. Everything going up and around this big storm system. Basically, it's like a big hole in the atmosphere, if you will. And as this slides right overhead, it's going to bring back some more showers on the backside of that for our Wednesday. Along with some showers for Wednesday, it will also bring in cooler temperatures, too. Look at the numbers here. We're holding at 65, but back towards the Mississippi River, many areas are actually in the mid 50s, about 10 degrees cooler. And I think tomorrow, that's where we will find ourselves, probably about five to ten degrees cooler than we are today. Outside right now, hey, a little bit of blue sky, even a few peaks at the sun. It's holding at 65 degrees. We've got a south breeze at around 13. Don't expect these peaks at the sun to last too long. They may stick around through parts of the evening hours, but tomorrow showers are back in the picture again. Here's Power of Five Live Radar. It's still raining, though, to our east tonight from Hillsboro down towards old places around Mount Oreb and then back towards West Union, for example, down towards Maysville. Still seeing rain. The best chance for showers here through the evening hours will generally be along and east of Interstate 75, and even better chances the farther east you head. So while it won't be a washout this evening, a matter of fact, I expect this evening to be drier than it has been all day. There still could be a few showers around with temperatures steady in the 60s out there. Let me show you Futurecast. It's doing a good job on what's happening. Notice through this evening, we basically clear out a lot of the rainfall. So again, a few peaks at the sun certainly possible. If you head out this evening, you may even see a few stars overnight tonight. But that won't last long. Here's tomorrow morning. This is 6:30. Notice showers will build back into the area during the day on Wednesday, along with that cooler air. So expect kind of a gloomy, damp, and wet Wednesday for us. It will really take till Friday for us to become completely rain-free. 54 for a low tonight, mostly cloudy. Shower still possible out there. And then tomorrow, expect more rain, cooler. Look for an afternoon high just shy of 60. Here's a look at your day planner. Starting out the morning around 54, look for those afternoon highs to top out right around 60, if not a degree or two shy of that in the upper 50s. Thursday looks even drier, though. Thursday we'll see a little more sun, but there still could be a few spotty showers out there. Friday looks like the nicest day of the week. The weekend doesn't look bad at all. However, it does look cooler for Saturday. And Sunday highs will be around 60 Saturday and Sunday, and those nights will be chilly by then, back down into the 40s.